Hey guys, it's Aaron Heiser with Maker's Leather Supply with another two minute tool tip. Uh, this one we're going to talk about wing dividers. Uh, a lot of folks come into the store and ask what they're used for. Um, this is one of my most used tools when I'm creating layouts or um, uh, trying to figure out a stitch line or anything like that. Okay. Uh, common uses, um, here's a couple of different ones by the way, here's a little bitty pair that I really like for detail work. Um, this is the pair that Tandy sells, they're, they're a great tool, really easy to adjust to whatever size you need. And then here's like the CS Osborne version, um, you would uh, unscrew this and do major adjustments and then once you lock it down you can screw this in and out to do minor adjustments. Um, for this demonstration I'm going to use the simplest pair, uh, this is the Tandy pair here. Um, so anyway couple of different uses for them. Uh, let's say I wanted to find a stitch line on the edge of a piece of leather. Uh, no matter if that piece of leather is straight or has contour to it, I would just set it to whatever width I want my stitch line to be and follow the contour of the leather with them. And now you have a line that is perfectly parallel to the edge of your leather. Okay, now let's say, okay, now I wanted to do a tooled border inside my, or outside my stitch line. Okay, so I'm going to just increase this, the distance a little bit and draw another line. Just like that. Alright. Now, that's for edges of leather. Now, I'll show you um, another big thing that I use them for is uh, if I have a strap or a belt and I need to center some holes on it. What I'll do is I'll find what I think is about the middle of the belt or strap and I will open my wing dividers to it and make a little line. Then I go over to the other side of it and make a little line. And if those two lines are in the same spot, then you've found your center. If they're not, then you adjust accordingly. In this case, we're going to tighten them up a little bit and make a little line. Now we're right smack in the middle of that piece of, of, of strap. Now, generally, if you're making a belt, you don't want a bunch of lines on it. I understand. You can use a scrap. You can use the back, something like that. Um, but then, once you've found your center, you can make a very light line. I'm going to make it heavier so you can see it. I'm actually going to scratch it here. Okay. Now, let's say I want holes that are going to be approximately an inch apart um, from each other. So I will, this strap is one inch wide, so I'll just measure out to one inch. And now I'll go down it and I will find my hole placement for my, my buckle holes. Okay. And I just press it in there. Sorry, I know my hand's in the way, so I'll do this left-handed and walk on down it. And that marks where all my holes will be. And it's a lot easier and more accurate than you trying to use a ruler and measure all those. So, I'm Aaron Heiser with Maker's Leather Supply, and this has been another two-minute tooltip.